Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Graziano and I am so excited to have been invited to do a read aloud for you of my new book, Noodle, oh, <laughs> I shared it the wrong way. Hold on, hold on, hold on, we're gonna try it one more time. My new book, Noodle and the No Bones Day, uh, which is a story about Noodle, my uh, sweet geriatric pug, and uh, how he starts every day with either having a Bones Day or a No Bones Day. And some of you might very well be familiar with this, um, but uh, we have a sweet little book that's going to share uh, all about the origins of Bones or No Bones, and I am so excited to share it with you. Uh, and Noodle, again, Noodle is the sweetest little dog in the world. It is currently a no bones day as I film this. So he is sound asleep in the suitcase in my room that I'm no longer allowed to unpack. He claimed it and I just let it go. Um, so he is enjoying himself over there and we are going to enjoy this book. So let's get into it. Noodle and the No Bones Day. Also, it was illustrated by Dan Tavis and they are absolutely miraculous. I love them so much. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Noodle and the No Bones Day. Noodle, how do I get that? What's the frame I get? Okay, let's do, you know what? This is a good frame right here. This looks good. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Noodle is a pug. A silly, stubborn, sweet old pug who lives a very busy life. Some days Noodle likes to go on walks and see the sights. Some days he likes to sit outside and bark at passersby. And every day he likes to eat snacks. More chicken, please. He's a pug who knows what he wants. Most pugs do. Jonathan is Noodle's human. He loves taking care of Noodle and joining him in his favorite activities. He loves to take Noodle on walks where they can see the sights together. He loves to sit outside where they can say hello to their neighbors. And he loves to share snacks. Noodle prefers chicken, but will settle for broccoli. Jonathan and Noodle do everything together. One day, Jonathan went to take Noodle on his walk. Noodle lay in his bed with one eye open. He very clearly did not want to go on a walk. Do you want to see the sights or sit outside or have some snacks? Jonathan asked. Noodle did not want to see the sights or sit outside. He did want snacks, but still he stayed in his bed. Concerned, Jonathan tried to sit him up, and Noodle, in his silly, stubborn, sweet way, plopped back down into his bed and went to sleep. Wow, Jonathan said. It's like he doesn't have bones. At that moment, Noodle let out a big sneeze. Now, if you are watching this, I would encourage you right now to let out a very big sneeze with me. I'm gonna to count to three. One, two, three. Two! Excellent, amazing, you did such a great job. It was just like that. And for those of you who don't speak pug, a sneeze means yes. Huh, thought Jonathan. Noodle's bones had never disappeared before. Was he sick? Jonathan checked his nose, but it was soft and perfect as usual. It really is soft and perfect. I have to butter it, but it's soft and perfect. Maybe Noodle was just sad. Jonathan gave Noodle a bunch of belly rubs to get him revved up. We got the scratches right there, little scritches right there, and sweet little pats right there. Noodle lapped up the attention, but he burrowed in deeper. Perhaps Noodle was hungry. He was, as always. But still, he stayed in his bed. But what about all of our fun activities? Jonathan asked, and Noodle stared at him. Would you rather snuggle instead? This time, Noodle sneezed. So that's what Noodle did. He didn't go on a walk. He didn't see the sights and he didn't sit outside. Instead, he snuggled in his bed, he enjoyed lots of belly rubs, and he ate many snacks. He loves bananas, loves bananas. And he was happy, a happy, silly, stubborn, sweet pug enjoying a relaxing day, a no bones day. Jonathan looked at Noodle enjoying his no bones day and decided he would have a no bones day too. This is, it looks, I know it's not a photograph, but it could be one. We do this all the time. From then on, some days were bones days. Great days for walks, seeing the sights, and sitting outside. And other days were no bones days. Great days for staying in bed, snuggling with a blanket, and getting lots of belly rubs. But no matter what kind of day it was, every day was a great day for snacks. 
bones or no bones, they are all good days. And that's the end of the book. And that's the end of the book. Oh, I love it so much. I wrote it. I wrote it. But I love it so much. The illustrations came out so well. Noodle is my muse. And to be able to, to channel him into this is a sincere joy. Um, so the book is called Noodle and the No Bones Day. It comes out on June 7th. It's available for pre-order everywhere. Um, thank you all so much for the support, for loving this dog, and for giving me the opportunity to share this with you. It's a sincere, a sincere pleasure and a privilege. I hope you all have a wonderful Bones or No Bones Day. Whatever you prefer. It's all up to you. Bye.